So hi guys, in this video I'll be telling you how to install any Edge OS 19.1 for MI 11X Redmi K40 the Poco F3 so the prerequisites are you need an unlock bootloader you need to be in MIUI or any other custom ROMs based on USB and if you are in MIUI remove your MIUI account and if you are in ROMs based on USB then remove your Google accounts and remove your password and security once all of them are done you can do a reboot and you need the Wait once again, and you need the firmware part of your uh, region. And in my case, I have my 11x and the latest firmware. And the recommend from firmware is 13.0.4, so I have it in my internal storage. And to be flashing the zip, we wouldn't be using TWRP, we will be using the lineage OS recovery, which will be flashed from our PC. So you'll be needing a PC for this. And once everything is proper, you can reboot your phone into TWRP to flash the firmware. Click on reboot and keep on pressing your power up button until your phone boots into TWRP. Now well you can go into wipe, advanced wipe and select your Dalvik card cache and you can swipe to wipe. Once that is done you can go to install and select the firmware part. Uncheck automatically flash TWRP after flashing a ROM. Now you can swipe to confirm flash. Once the installation is done you can go to home, reboot and select our bootloader and our phone will be rebooting to our bootloader and now you will, we will be flashing the lineage OS recovery so connect it to your PC using the original cable provided by Xiaomi so now in your PC you need to download the ROM zip and the Lineage OS recovery which is event boot and once both files are downloaded you can go into your platform tools folder and open CMD in that by typing CMD and press enter. Now type fastboot devices to check if your phone is directed in fastboot. And well my phone is now shown in fastboot mode. Now let's flash the vendor image. Type fastboot flash vendor underscore boot and drag and drop the vendor boot image in the CMD command prompt. And Press enter for your render image to get flashed. And well, the render image is flashed. Now let's go to the installation and check what to do the next. Now, once you have installed the recovery, we can reboot our phone into the lineage of recovery which is installed. Let me just do it. Once your recovery has booted, uh, I mean, I'm not using lineage OS recovery, I'm using TWRP, so now go to wipe, format data, and type in yes. And now go to press home, go to advanced, and search for ADB sideload, and swipe to enter ADB sideload mode. Now in your PC, go, go to the command prompt, and search for what to do next. We need to type ADB side load. I mean ADB side load and drag and drop the zip. And if you click enter, your ROM will start getting flashed. And well, the installation is gonna stop after 47%, and I can give you different logs saying like I'll say your normally ADB will report after the log we got. In some cases, it it proceeds success and stops at forty seven percent, and in some cases, it gives error and stops at forty seven percent, which is fine. And now we can reboot to our system. And well, our ROM has booted. Feel free to disconnect your phone from the USB and a minute. And well, now let's start the setup part and and well we have booted into the system let's change the refresh rate to 120 Hz and we have the option of 90 Hz which is cool yeah well 90 Hz isn't good so let's go to 120 and notification panel isn't coming down so I guess it's a bug maybe a reboot can fix that and I guess the ROM has a bit bugs. So they might fix it in the future updates and 
the ROM looks good and has good animations and this is how the camera is in this ROM. Fine, I can't lift it up. Just close the camera up. Whoa, too slow. Now this is how the music app looks like and look at the opening and closing, that's too smooth. Each and every app is too smooth in opening and closing. And that is all for this video. If this video helped you, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.